I'm gonna dig in with this rib. Mm. You alright? Check this out. Homemade by your boy, Rick Rock. Look at bud. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. What's going on, guys? Your boy, Rick Rock. We're back again for some more mukbang here with Miss Allie. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> We're eating again. <laughs> yeah, we are. So, um, right here we have some ribs that I just made from the oven, not from the so outside. Good. It's good stuff, guys. Um, and we have some uh, crispy, uh, you know, I'd like to say pata, but it's like the ankle part, right? It's the, yeah, the we'll ham hock. Huh? So, same area, but right above the, the pata, which is the pig's feet. And the way I made this was um, I boiled it with bay leaf, uh, peppercorn, and a little bit of salt for like 20, 30 minutes, and then I deep fried it. You gotta wait till you deep fry it because I made a mistake and I put it in there right away and oh my gosh, it yeah, blew he, up. It was like almost all caught the space. fire. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, welcome back to another video. Let's begin. I'm ready. All right. Okay, so I, looking at me. That one right there. We also have some salsa ones. Same thing, you know. Uh, we had from the last video. Ali made a lot, and we have the, of course, my favorite vinegar. Spicy vinegar. Spicy vinegar. Yep. I'm hungry, and I can't wait to dig in. Mm -hmm. it's so good. Mm. You know, I gotta, I gotta start with this crispy ham hock. Mmm. That's very really good. Good. So yeah guys, I almost caught a fire earlier, <laughs> splashed on my freaking lip, I thought of my lip was swollen. He did the toothpaste putting on like, I mean, he was in the bathroom, okay we had a little bit of wine earlier, <laughs> <laughs> he was in the bathroom putting toothpaste on his mouth, like chapstick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some people say put sour cream when you get burnt by hot oil. I put toothpaste, I hope it works. It's, kind of, it's still kind of burnt. I'm gonna dig in with this rib. Mm -hmm. You alright? Check this out. Homemade by your boy, Rick Rock. Hey there, bud. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. Mm hmm. This is so salmon. Josh, thank you for joining us again. Mm. And I hope you guys are eating while you're watching this because you don't get hungry. I don't watch this so late at night. <laughs> or on a diet. Yeah. This is good stuff right here. Mmm. Wow. Mm. You don't want to try this? I oh, thank you. <laughs> There's still some stuff that I can't make her try. And one of them is uh, the Nguan, which is a uh, uh, chocolate meat made with pork blood. Mm -hmm. When we first got together, she couldn't stand the smell of patis, which is uh, fish sauce. And somehow, someday she tried it and... You got me drunk. <laughs> you got me drunk. <laughs> Yeah, I did actually. That's the only way, right? Mmm. Mmm, yeah, it's really good. Try this one time. Um, you have to do chocolate covered strawberries with about this. Ooh. It's really good. You get that salty sweet factor. You hear that? That's weird, right? Mm -hmm. Chocolate covered strawberry dipped in fish sauce. Were you drunk when you did that one time? Probably. <laughs> Sometimes you discover good stuff when you're drunk, you know what I mean? Mmm. I just kept asking me, once the rib finish is done? I know, I'm starving. You can't rush perfection. You got me drunk earlier. She drank almost a whole bottle of wine. Mm. Which, by the way, that's what we have for drink. Not coconut uh, juice or uh, water or soda. We have some wine. What kind of wine did we get earlier? Um, we got mm. Chateau Saint Michel Riesling. 
And then um, some pink Moscato. She she got me into drinking wine now, guys. So I'm becoming a wino. Make some goofy as shit, man. <laughs> so the buzz between wine, liquor, and beer is totally, totally different. different. However, one day I drank a whole box of wine. That didn't turn out good. And that was like 10 years ago, maybe nine years ago. That's not gonna happen he again. He ended up naked in a bathtub <laughs> by himself, locked in the bathroom. <laughs> and then when he finally woke up and came into bed, I was sleeping. And he was like, why didn't you come wake me up? I'm no fool. You're the one who went by yourself. <laughs> I totally didn't know what the heck was going on. You didn't drink wine? Like since then? Uh huh. That was the last time I drank wine. I couldn't even get him to taste my wine. Just recently. Because she was refraining from drinking, you know, vodka, what have you. She's getting older. Can't handle anymore. No, you just don't, you can't handle Allie on that. Mm-mm. <laughs> Hell no. But, with wine though, it's a cool, calm, collective. Dan, make me sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> it's all good. We used to be. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. She was dead. <laughs> she was never an alcoholic. That's rude. She just liked drinking. <laughs> hmm. Damn. I don't know how you guys eat your rib. Because some people just eat around it. I like to eat from one side to the other. And just cover the whole area. And... I don't like my rib. <laughs> guys, look at that. <laughs> I look like a dog Frankie got to it. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. I'm talking about how I'm like the dog. What the hell? <laughs> mm, this one is. Wow. Check this out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I made this about an hour ago, and it's still crispy. If you like crunchy stuff like the way I do, guys, you gotta do this. So, in Filipino way, we use the whole uh, pata, crispy pata is what we call it. And uh, they, same process as a um, lechon kawali, which is pork belly. You boil it for like a certain amount of time, 30 minutes or what have you. And then you're supposed to wait until it air dries. Like some people do it today and then they put it in a fridge overnight. So when they finally deep fry it, it doesn't boil over and you know, splash you everywhere. <laughs> like what happened to me earlier. But Call the fire. I didn't have time. So I thought it was good enough. I put up, I, I set it to the side. It wasn't a good idea. Why didn't you take a napkin and dab it? Hmm? Why didn't you take a napkin and dab it? I did, but it still didn't work. Mm -hmm. My bad. These ribs are good. They really are good. Man, I amaze myself sometimes. Mm. This is easy, guys. So either, either I take it out outside and put it in the grill and if I want it a little bit tender, I wrap it with a uh, foil, like a little air bubble, to get the air circulating in there to tenderize it for about 30 minutes to 30 to 45 minutes. But this time, I just put it straight in the oven, took it out, baste it after 30 minutes, put it right back in there for another 20 minutes, took it out, baste it again, and left the 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 foil out off. And there it is, everything caramelized and it's so good. And then mm -hmm. I got to take an intermission because the baby is crying. Mm. I shall return. Go ahead, baby, do your thing. Mm. Anyways, guys, hope everybody's having a good day today or a good night because it is already 10 o'clock. Everything took a while to make. It's worth it. It is very worth it. Mm. Mm. 
Nu s-a văzut. Today is my last day of my two days off, and uh, I'm gonna go back to work. So I gotta at least make two more videos, right? Before I go back to work, cause I won't be busy. I won't be able to make another video for a couple days, or my next day off, which is Monday. But just to give you guys a heads up, in about a couple weeks, my family and I were all going to Canada, Richmond, Canada, and we're we're going to go to this night market where they have all kinds of food laid out everywhere the vendors and uh, you know what I'm gonna do right exactly you got the right idea it's on and a lot of people tell me that it's, it's, it's a good place to go if you love food because there's tons of food everywhere mm. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot eat anything like this without rice. I tried to, but it didn't work. Mmm. You hear how crunchy that is? That's after an hour. Mmm. -hmm. Look at that. I'm more of like a skin guy. It may seem bad because it's deep fried, but it's also boiled for so long and strained, you know. Mmm. Wow. So the, I put a little bit of um, salt while it's boiling but the flavor really comes from the from the suka with the uh, onions and garlic brewed in a bottle with some Thai chilies okay. matter of fact I'm gonna eat some of that Ooh. a little bit of kick not too much mm. This is right here. I want to eat some more of that deliciousness. Guys, check this out. All right. Nice and juicy. It's easy to make. You should try it. So the the sauce that I that I used actually it's um, it's a mixture of hickory barbecue. I put it in the bowl. After I seasoned the the um, the slab of ribs with uh, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of salt, cayenne pepper. You know you rub that black pepper. That's all you need, right, for that first step. And then you get the bowl. Pour some hickory uh, barbecue sauce in there. Put a little bit of uh, brown sugar to sweeten it up. And then uh, squeeze some orange juice, lime juice, and uh, I mean actually lemon juice is better, and um, soy sauce. Then you mix it, right? Then you just baste it like at least two, three times before it's cooked. And uh, there you have it. Mm. I don't like my ribs very, very tender where it falls off the bone and it pulls right out. I like it where you still have to grab it, bite into it, and just kind of pull. I can't stand the ribs too tender. It's just not me. Some people like it though. If you ain't got no teeth, or you don't want your, uh, you know, dentures to break, come right off with the with the rib. Hmm. Well. Wow. Yeah, got my company back. <laughs> Boy, that wine had though. Ooh, I'm gonna disappear for a minute. I'll pour some wine. I'll be right back.
Mmm, it's your turn to talk. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so it's Wine Wednesday. Like Gracie said, I'm introducing him to wine again. And this mofo is so damn goofy when he drinks wine. <laughs> oh my god. That I am. He's like rolling around, doing karate shit. Like, he's probably gonna feel there. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun though. I like the buzz of the wine. He tried to chug it earlier. Anybody that drinks wine knows you don't freaking like try to chug it. Like he was chugging it like, like it was beer earlier. And then he was like, this one's a little bit different than the, because they're drinking Riesling. He's like, this one's a little bit different. <laughs> Here you go, my dear. Thank you. Yes. I like your finger. Mm-hmm. All saucy. Mm -hmm. So check it out, guys. Right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. I'm becoming to have a, this wonderful taste for wine. Allie dropped some blueberries in there, so actually we're... Let me get the bottle. It's nothing fancy. It's barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're drinking. Barefoot. Right there, guys. Barefoot wine. Okay, lay it right there. It's about five bucks, right? But check it out. It's bomb.com, y'all. It said it's good with pot stickers and pink. Um, uh huh. This is Asian. Yeah. Asian mm -hmm. enough. Asian inspired. So it's pink Moscato, not too fancy, but it's all up to your taste, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be a it could be a very expensive wine, but if it doesn't taste good, you're not gonna enjoy it. Mm. So let's be bougie real quick. Okay. So you have to take your wine. Okay. And you have to. Yeah. Swirl it. Mm -hmm. Alright. I don't even know how to swirl. And then smell it. What do you think it smells like? It smells like um, fermented fruit. Can you uh, no, no answers wrong. Okay. Mm. Oh, you have to wiggle it in your mouth? Squish it. Squish it. Squish it. That's actually Get good. a bougie wine glass with Allie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the glass I'm using, guys. Like regular soda glass. But it's all good. It's what's in it. Family. Uh-huh. I put the blueberries in so it stay cool for you. No frozen blueberries. That's awesome. That's a good idea, guys. Sometimes you can put like what? Strawberries, sliced strawberries in there, what have Grapes. you. Grapes. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends. I'm out of rice. You know what I'm gonna do? Shocker. Yes. Gotta get some more rice. I'm just gonna keep eating. So that Ricky can judge me on my rib eating skills. Mm. Seriously? Y'all are missing out on these ribs. It's so good. I'm back. I was gonna make, what was I gonna make earlier? I was gonna make beef ribs mm. but something happened guys I, I either i left it out for too long and when i opened it to wash it and um season it it kind of smelled funky so i said hell no not going there so i ran to store i ran to the store real quick and got some pork ribs works out pretty good i hope you use my number so i can get rewards i did good <laughs> people I know like hey Ricky we watch your videos man and uh damn you're always getting us hungry that's what it's all about we were at the grocery store leaving and like Ricky was we were stoplight so Ricky was just looking down at his phone and there's this dude in front of us in a Mercedes and it kept seeing his head popping out of the car and his hands were like flailing around and I was like Ricky look at this dude and then Ricky rolls on the window and he knows him and the dude's like you're smart, like what you're doing is awesome, keep it up. I think you need to hear that kind of stuff. Mm hmm. You're very inspiring, very motivating. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because well, Ricky puts a lot of time and, and effort into these videos. And like, like he's cooking in like 88 degree weather 
frying and baking and you know like I told everybody it's one video at a time you have to make it a hobby and enjoy it which I enjoy doing this you know what I mean mm -hmm. I enjoy eating this <sighs> <laughs> yes you do okay I'm gonna eat a little bit more of this skin because ah, it's so good and I love the crunch Mm. You guys hear that? It sounds like you're biting into a carrot. I know. It's so good. But when I eat something crunchy like this, it really makes me want to eat some more. For some reason. You, you know me. You haven't thought about soda yet. I know. I wish I would have bought soda. But wine is good enough. Sure. Uh, better for wine. Good to you. I'm trying. The way you're eating that makes me want to eat another one. I'm trying to be better for you. But I'm getting full. No, oh, Frankie. I will kill him. He wakes up the baby. Mm. Damn. That was so good. I want to eat some more, but I want to save some room for wine? some more wine. I don't work till 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow so I got a few hours to sleep I probably look so ridiculous eating these I'm trying know. to like eat like this so I don't get my like lipstick all over <laughs> you're good there's no wrong way of eating it <sighs> cheers guys <sighs> ooh before I forget Shout out to my boy Archie Angeles David. You, you can find him on Facebook if you want to order some uh, lanyard that he makes at home. Trust me, guys, it's pretty badass. I'm gonna go grab the ones that he made for me. I'll put a link down in the description bar so that way you guys can see what he's talking about. They're really cool. You can use them as a weapon, they're heavy. You can whip somebody with them. <laughs> Hey guys, check it out. I don't want to dirty with my dirty hand, but look. You know like what that is, cool. right? It's a 49er color. But he makes, see how sturdy it is? This will last forever. Handmade. And uh, he can, you know, if you're a Seahawks fan or a Raiders fan, what have you, just hit him up. You know, DM him on, uh, on Facebook. I got to say, we'll have the, um, the link down below. And also my boy Kiaha, he makes lays, which... I love his name. Yeah, pretty badass. My boy, he's Hawaiian, obviously, and he makes uh, lays for any function, you know, just let him know. Hit him up on Facebook as well, under Kiaha Long, K-I-A... <laughs> K-I-A-H-A. -A. Take an accent. <laughs> There's an accent after that. I. A H A. Yes. Yeah, huh? And we'll have the link down below as well. Who else do we want to give shout outs to? It's like K I A. I want to thank my mom. <laughs> She's drunk. <laughs> God, we're just getting goofy, guys. But it's fun. You know, it's all about good food, laughter and uh, enjoying and having a good time, right? That's all, that's what it's all about. His finger looking good, baby, go like this. Mmm. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I really tried. Hold on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> all right, well guys, before we get any more goofier, right? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, subscribing and viewing. Like always, um, thank you for your time. Please never stop supporting your boy, Rick Rock Foodie. Don't stop believing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you know. I appreciate, all, I appreciate all of you guys, and um, we'll see you guys in the next 
video because there's more to come. Peace, one love, and we're out.